So, you want to know how to use this Minecraft font in Shotcut. If you don't know what Shotcut is, it is an editing software that I use. It's free, simple to use, and yeah, you want to know how to use this font. A lot of Minecraft YouTubers want to use this font, but they can't figure out how to do it, especially in Shotcut. That is one of the hard things to do, but it's actually quite simple to get on here. So what you want to do is go to this website, link in the description, www.fontspace.com, and look up Minecraft fonts. There are a lot to choose from, but what you want is the Minecraft font regular. Click the little download button right here. It will download as a zipped file. Go into your download section. Right click on the zipped folder. Click extract all. Extract. Give it a second. It will pull up this. You want to go down to regular right here at the bottom. Double click it. Go up here and click install. And it is already installed on my computer so I don't need to do that again. So we will stop that, close that, close that out. And then when you go back to shortcut, just add on your video file or anything. I'm just using this black screen because why not? Click on your video, go to your filters tab, which let me pull that up here. Go to your filters tab. This is usually where it will be. I move mine to the other monitor. Click add filter, scroll down or just search up text and click text simple. Then what you want to do is add your words that you are using. I'm going to use Minecraft because we're doing a video about Minecraft font. Now, you want to go to where it says Verdinand, which is the default font for Shotcut. You want to click on that, search, just click M, and it'll take you to all the fonts with M. Scroll down a little bit until you see Minecraft. Once you see Minecraft, click on that, click OK, and you have the Minecraft font. Just like that, you can move it around a little bit, do whatever you want with it. You can even add a little color to it, which is probably what I'm going to do when I use it. I usually keep mine on white and then have the outline be purple. And then I set it my thickness of the outline to 30. And then depending on who's talking in my video, I change the color depending on that. For me, I leave it as purple because my channel color is purple. So it turns out really nice actually. And you just get this little Minecraft text that you can use. You can even have it bobble in, which I can actually do real quick. So you can have the text kind of bubble in like this. Most of the people on the Dream SMP use the bubble in effect, which I can show you how to do. If you want to see that, make sure to comment in the comment section below. And so yeah, make sure to subscribe if this was helpful. Leave a like if you liked the video. It's called a like because you liked it. Makes sense, right? Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time in a brand new YouTube video. Subscribe.